the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane looks like graph paper, but you look for an up and down line, that's your y axis is what it's called, and a side to side line, your x axis. They meet at zero. There are four quadrants that make up your coordinate plane where these x and y axis meet. This is quadrant one, where all of your numbers are positive. Quadrant two, remember the word quad means four, so that's why you're expecting four quadrants. Quadrant three is all negative numbers, and quadrant four. Can you see that the quadrants are made up of these four spaces from your x and y axis? So you make sure you learn your vocabulary. This is your origin. This is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Point F is in quadrant two. We would say that point K is on the Y axis. Can you see that it's not in quadrant three or four? So it's on the Y axis. A coordinate pair helps us tell where something, where a point is in the coordinate plane. To find that, you always start at zero, and you're always going to go back and forth on the x-axis before you go up or down. Sometimes we say you have to walk to the elevator before you can go up and down. So we want to know the coordinates of f. Start at the zero at the origin, go side to side first, so one, two, three, four, until you're even with f, and then one, two, up two. So this is four, comma, two. We call those the coordinate pair or the ordered pair. We always do the x value first and then the y value. So for point B, let's again start at zero, go side to side until you get even with B. So one, two, three, four, so a positive four. And this time we have to go down. So one, two. So a positive four, but this time it's a negative two and this is our coordinate pair. For point G, start at the origin, one, two, so we had to go negative two, comma, and then we have to come down, one, two, three, so a negative three. Make sure you put a comma and you put parentheses on both sides of them. Again, start at zero, we're gonna do point C this time. Remember to go side to side first, so one, two, three, so a negative three, and then one, two, a positive two. So negative three, positive two. Reviewing, remember this is the origin, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, this is quadrant one, so f is in quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. So let's give it a try. First of all, name the coordinate pair for each point and identify its quadrant. D is in quadrant one. Remember to go side to side first and start at the origin. One, two, so positive two, one, two, three. So positive two, positive three. All right, let's do point J. We haven't done one on an axis. So do we need to go side to side to be even with J? No. So we, the first coordinate will be zero, and then we have to go up, one, two, three, four, five. So the coordinates of J are zero, comma, five. Let's do G. Again, start at zero. One, two, so a negative two, and then down three. One, two, three, so negative two, comma, negative three. All right, let's make some of our own. For example, let's find point B. Four, negative two. So start at the origin and we'll go a positive four, one, two, three, four, and a negative two, one, two. You put a point there, and you label it point B. It's just like following directions. Let's do point C, negative three, negative two. Again, start at the origin, negative three, one, two, three, negative two, one, two, and that will be point C. And point E, zero, negative two. So we don't need to go side to side, but then we go down two, and this would be point E.